video, I'm going to show you how to take a string in Java and evaluate it as a mathematical expression. And we want to do this evaluation while keeping uh, order of operations uh, in mind, as well as showing how we can use some methods that are in the math library. So what we need to do first is import these three things from the Java uh, library for scripts. And in particular, what we want to do here is we want to use a JavaScript engine, uh, which we're going to uh, create an engine object and uh, have that kind of an engine and use that engine to do the work for us. And the resulting code is extremely short. I've created a new manager and I've set the engine type to be a JavaScript engine. And once I do that, I can load the strings that are my test cases and different string variables. And you can see by calling this eval method on this engine that I've created and passing it the string as a parameter, I can get uh, each of these evaluated. Now, if I run this, you can see I get all the expected results. Now, there are a couple things that you need to be careful of. First of all, you know in Java, if we were to evaluate an expression like 1 divided by 3, we would get 0 because Java would use integer division. In this case, uh, the answer comes out a bit more, what shall I say, mathematical in that it gives you a decimal answer. So that's one difference between this and what a Java uh, e evaluation would look like. The other thing is that you need to precede the uh, math methods or functions with the keyword math dot inside the string to use them. For example, here I'm using the SQRT square root method, and so I put the math dot in front of it. And that's all you need to do to evaluate a string as a equation.